everyone uh welcome to the another episode of product management interview experience uh today we have pratik who has recently joined cred as a product manager welcome pratik hi everyone yeah thanks thanks sugat for having me uh, it's pleasure to be here awesome so cred was always in a top of my list of sharing the interview experience because it's it's an elite club elite uh, you know folks who are building this product and it's so awesome to hear about the kind of questions and the entire interview experience that uh, any candidate have to go through it it one of the hottest startup in the in the bangalore and i'm very much looking forward to this discussion today and uh, before we deep dive further uh, folks for who are here for the first time uh, uh, please like share and subscribe this channel because this way it will help us to reach out to more aspirants and we discuss a lot about product management and career so without any further ado let's get started pratik uh, can you please go ahead and introduce yourself sure man uh, definitely so hi everyone i am pratik so currently i am working as a product manager at cred and uh, previously i was working as a product manager at sharechat prior to that i was working as a software engineer in bunch of small startups prior to that i was running my own company for one and a half years prior to that i was doing btech in computer science so btech in computer science doing own stuff then uh, working as a software engineer and moving into a product management that's how been the journey yeah so that's that's about me Sounds interesting, Pratik. I think the uh, same. Uh, we have seen people transitioning from a software development background to product management. So it's gonna be a real uh, good discussion, uh, understanding your perspective and your journey. But before uh, going further, I would like to thank uh, today's sponsor of the video, which is Super Life. Do you struggle to stay focused and productive during your workday? Are you tired of feeling overwhelmed and burnt out? Then it's time to take back control with the Super Life. To get started, visit the superlife.club or download our app. Once you sign up, you can list out what you want to achieve by creating tasks. Use the Pomodoro technique to break your tasks into manageable chunks. Our awesome playlist of focus music will help you concentrate better. Stay healthy and energetic with personalized reminders to drink water and stretch. And with insightful analytics and a leaderboard to keep you motivated, the Super Life helps you understand when and how you work best. Any changes you do are securely saved and instantly synced across all your devices. Take control of your workday with the Super Life. Uh, Pratik, can you go ahead and share about your entire interview experience at Cred? Sure, definitely. So, the Cred journey started in July 2022. Uh, a third-party recruiter reached out to me. The recruiter had a 30-minute conversation. I would call it as a first round. A recruiter asked basic questions around uh, what I'm doing currently in my current job at Chat, what problem statement I'm solving, why I'm looking forward for cred, what excites me about the cred. So basic screening round that happened by third-party recruiter. After third-party recruiter, the next round happened by the HR of cred itself. HR of cred again had a 30-minute conversation where the same questions were asked like, what I'm doing currently, why I'm looking for a switch, basics, standard screening round, which happens for any role. Uh, after that, there was a two week of a break. I think they were screening my profile and understanding with, with, where I suit properly. So <clears throat> after that, I had a interview round scheduled with hiring manager. That was uh, the third round I would call. In that round, the hiring manager asked me a bunch of questions around my experience, what sort of projects that I have done in those projects, what sort of decisions that I have taken, what are the insights that I have gathered from them, what challenges I faced into building the product or the features in ShareChart company. Along with that, there were some case studies uh, around the product, product that I have built, uh, the projects that I have done, right? So the some scenarios were put out that if this would have happened, how would have how would you have handled it? All sort of the questions, but mainly on a experience side of the thing that I have done. That round went around sixty to seventy minutes. After that, uh, Cred shared an assignment with me. 
So that is the fourth round where you receive an assignment for one week. Uh, assignment is again, standard one where you get a assignment. I can't exact, I can't exactly reveal the example, but I can give an example. Like let's say there is a product X, uh, uh, some number of that product is going down. So let's say adoption of that product is going down by 10 percentage or retention is going down by 10 percent. And you have to do an RC around that product. Uh, how will you go about doing the RC of that? Uh, second question is that like that product manager of that product wants to move uh, X metric by Y percentage. Now you have to figure out how to do that. And uh, it's a case study, like you have to design it. And lastly, uh, third question was that in that assignment that, uh, that product wants to enter into another industry and, uh, how would you like, would you recommend, uh, like going in that industry or not? So it's basically a strategy question. Like, should you do that or you should not do that? So assignment was one week. I, uh, submitted it after that, uh, there was a discussion around assignment. I would call it as around four design discussion around the assignment was again, 60 minute where the same hiring manager came. Hiring manager asked me questions around the assignment that I have done mainly what are my decisions around the assignments? Like why I chose certain, uh, certain features over other features. How did I prioritize or, uh, which of the, uh, things that I, I wanted to do, but I could not do in that assignment. So basically understanding my product sense, my product thinking also around the strategic thinking through that assignment, that was the overall objective of that assignment. So post the assignment round, uh, that's what happens in the grade. Like, uh, hiring manager gives a yes, right. But grade does not stop there. So, uh, grade has a second layer of interview that happens where they give that same candidate to cross functional other leaders. And some three rounds additionally happens post that. So those three rounds where you get introduced to other cross-functional leaders and they evaluate you independently on the role that you have been hired or, or the team that you are joining, they evaluate you based on your product sense, design skills independently. Right? So credit is like, they need a validation from two multiple people, like, like hiring manager is a one validation and another additional validation from other cross-functional teams. That's how they look at it. So three rounds back to back. One round was again, experience round, uh, a leader asked me around one specific segment of my product. Like, uh, how did I move engagement and how engagement was correlated to retention and how was, is it a correlation or causation? How did you establish the causation? around it, what was the scale of the problem? So all bunch of that kind of experience related question. So again, 60 minute round. So that I would call it as a round six. <clears throat> after that case study, there was round seven. Again, after like one hour break, the round was there. All these are happening online. Uh, the design round, uh, sorry, case study round was that design X product for Y audience. Uh, uh, straightforward design case study thing. You will find out a lot of such cases online. After that, there was a bar raiser round. Uh, it is uh, round eight, I would call it. So uh, now I know that uh, the person who took my bar raiser round uh, is a very senior person in the organization. In, in the meeting, I was not aware. So, uh, basically there are no titles in the company, but if I put the titles in the company, then he would become a C CPO, uh, for the company. So th that is something that I was not aware. And the round was uh, very different actually. So it was mainly to understand my strategic as well as business sense. The questions were, uh, why Apple is Apple, right. Or, uh, the questions were like, uh, uh, why Apple is launching new phone every year. Like there is no feature change that is happening. Right. Another thing is that, uh, uh, why do people purchase Apple product? Another question was, uh, that let's say Bluetooth, which Twitter is launching. Right. So what are the second order impact of, uh, that feature? Right. If we, if a uh, Twitter goes forward with that launch, right. So bunch of questions, which I was not prepared around and uh, I couldn't find these questions on. Uh, decode and conquer or 
um, like uh, uh, program program like product management interview questions there are quite a lot of books i have read them also so i could not find out so it was very interesting and after that interview i was not very confident like i didn't know like how did i do it and and whether i gave a satisfactory answers or not because i i did not had a framework to answer it but luckily that that round went well also <clears throat> so after that there was a one week break i was waiting for offer letter or offer negotiation but suddenly there was additional round that happened and uh, that round was with the founder directly so kunal is the founder of cred and uh, that round happened in two chats one with the some questions were exchanged on whatsapp and i was supposed to answer there and one round was an in person so i went to office and uh, in the office there was a one round that happened so in that round the questions were quite philosophical i would say and uh, those questions i have not seen anywhere so the questions are like i can give an example right so let's say uh if you if you have to imagine the world right 6 months down the line uh, imagine the world for this scenario like all the people who have taken vaccine today till today dies tonight how would the world would look like 6 months down the line like what would be the second order impact of that so first of all i i did not had a framework to approach this problem right but uh, somehow i managed to answer some things whichever came in the in the mind at that moment and there were other other such complicated questions which were asked in that interview uh but mainly i think the idea was to understand the person and uh, how that person solves very ambiguous and complex problems where there is no methodology or there is no framework to answer it but if you still have to attempt it how do you go about answering it so that was that and after that an uh, offer letter was uh, released some negotiations happened and uh, the round was closed so this was an overall uh, uh, long 10 round or 9 to 10 round interview that happened with cred and from july it started like 2022 it ended in december something like that almost four months something like that wow i'm still processing the information which you just shared right a uh, back to back interviews uh, for a, such a long time and uh, even a lot of new rounds like the bar reserve one the the interview with the founder itself right and and uh, i hope the folks who are watching this video get all this information very insightful because personally me when i'm listening to prateek that feels great so thanks a lot prateek uh, for sharing your experience i might have few follow up questions uh, which uh, everyone would like to know so first is definitely about the bar raiser right we have heard this uh, term quite a lot of time across various interviews so pratik what are your thoughts about what this bar raiser is all about and if you can share some insights around that hmm i do not think that the bar raiser was planned and all these interviews which happened with me were planned already i think the companies decide this things based on how the rounds are going and if they want to level up somebody if they want to uh, down level somebody right so those kind of decisions that the company has to take and for this situation when the discussion panel is sitting right uh, the discussion panel decide that okay let's have one more round or let's have two more rounds so that's how these decisions are taken because uh, i have been part of these decisions in my past organizations and that's how this round comes uh typically the bar raiser is uh, every company would have a different different approaches to take the bar raiser and that also depends upon the leader who is taking the bar raiser round right so in my case the leader uh, who is there i think uh, he has solved some problems around like building brands approaching towards a uh, complicated long term uh, problem statements like uh, uh, like how apple is been evolved so he might have studied that so maybe the questions were around that but if there could be some leader who have done a lot of ab testing right 
So then the bar razor would be in that direction. So there is typically no way for you to understand like, okay, for this company, what would be their bar razor, right? It depends on two variables at this moment, like the company itself, as well as the leader who is taking that bar razor round. So that's, that's my viewpoint that happened, that is there. Thanks, Pratik. I think this is quite useful. Uh, moving on to the next set of questions, right? Uh, uh, especially with the interview with the founder, right? We have always seen Kunal uh, on Twitter, uh, YouTube, and a lot of seminars. And like, how was how does it feel to directly interview and talk to him, right? Uh, how was your experience, especially? Uh, would love to know around that. Sure. Okay. So even... Uh... It was a first time uh, experience for me meeting him. And uh, I would not say that, okay, hey, it was very uh, like uh, fancy or anything like that. He's a simple person. I felt that he was very comfortable uh, and open-minded. He never uh, like let me feel that, okay, he's the founder of the company. Just like uh, all the other leaders who were interacted with me, he was interacting the same way with me. Okay. So though initially for first five seconds, I had that feeling that, okay, uh, hey, I'm meeting some big personality or something like that, though he's a big personality. But after meeting him, I uh, felt that, okay, he's very grounded and uh, uh, you can interact with him, brainstorm with him, ask questions. Like he allows you to ask questions in the interview. He will ask uh, questions. His questions are very sharp. And sometimes you may, you might get uncomfortable answering the questions, but uh, yeah, that's the intent, right? Like how a product manager will handle a situation where the questions are uh, uncomfortable to handle, right? And that's maybe the case. Uh, yeah, nothing. I would not say that there is something that specifically need to be prepared to uh, handle uh, any founder level uh, interviews. Just treat it as a normal interview, even if you are interviewing any other person. And uh, and most of the time, I've. Uh, phase that, okay, he is just trying to understand me better rather than judging me uh, in that situation. Because I could feel that, okay, uh, he already got a validation from the, all the eight interviews and that's why I have reached it. So maybe he might not be judging me based on my skills or based on my uh, competence. Uh, he's just trying to understand a personality. And that's, that's what uh, like founders mainly do. Like they are just taking are you a personality fit for the organization or not? So that's the thing. Just be yourself. The questions, you will not be able to find it out on internet or anything, any other places. If you just be yourself and you try to answer those questions, most probably the founders will like that honesty and authenticity and you might get it. So you might give a wrong answer, but that is completely fine. Nobody, nobody knows the perfect answer. Very well said, Pratik, because based on my experience of working in startups and interviewing with founders and the CEOs, I think they are very humble person and all they want to know is to know you better, right? Uh, your, your personality, your traits. It's not about the skills. It's more about you and your authenticity. Thank you, Pratik. Uh, these are really valuable insights. And uh, we I really enjoyed discussing uh, with you about your journey, your experience, and how does it feel to be at CRED. Uh, mm -hmm. Before winding up uh, the, today's discussion, is there anything else you would like to share to the wider audience? Hmm. So a lot of people asked me uh, over LinkedIn two questions, mainly, actually one question that is like, uh, what do I do to get into a product management or I'm already a product manager. How do I switch uh, into a product manager? So there is a lot of uh, valuable knowledge available on internet and YouTube and all. But for me, uh, I have gone through all of that. But like one thing that I have helped me a lot is I started treating myself as a product. Okay. I would also recommend people start treating themselves as a product. When I say that treating yourself as a product mean uh, you as a, like every product has a value proposition. It has a target audience. It has a uh, competition, right? And the way to solve that product problem is that you uh, identify what is the value proposition. You define user persona, you define pain points. Then you do user research. Then you find out target audience. You do MVP, you launch it, you, you test it, you do 
uh, you get results, you iterate on it, like do the same with yourself, right? Your current problem statement is, let's say, getting a job. Just create a roadmap around it. Like, okay, what are the pain points that I'm facing for getting a job, right? I don't have a network. Then allocate your time and resources the way you will prioritize an actual product, right? Like 10% of time I will give in building a network, 12% of time I will give in sharpening my resume. So if you start applying that thinking to uh, to approaching this problem statement, it will be super helpful and you will not feel panic. You Because nobody is building product overnight. So you will not achieve your metric of getting a job or whatever objective that you have set in the night, right? But you will know that, okay, hey, you are measuring it you're progressing on it right and uh, that's how you will hit that goal and second thing is uh, i always encourage people to try out their own side projects right uh, there are benefits of doing that one benefit is clearly that i have seen myself that uh, you apply the product management knowledge in multiple different, different industries. So let's say if you are thinking that, okay, a lot of people are doing in chat GPT, something like that. So, Hey, uh, can I build something around chat GPT? So now you start thinking like a product manager. Okay. Why should I build it? What are the pain points in that industry? Right. Then you can start understanding that, okay, hey, who will use this product? that application should ca constantly happen in your side life, right? Try different, different building your own product. You can just like hire interns from uh, freelancing websites and pay them some amount. They can build a prototype or you can learn basic of HTML and create a landing page with no code tools and try understand like, okay, if I share this landing page to people, how they are reacting to it, what I'm learning from it. Maybe different industry might tell you different things about product management and you can apply that industry knowledge to, to industry which you, are, which you are working, right? So this is also a second thing that I would uh, uh, recommend people start doing wherever they are in their journey. Awesome. Just to summarize, I think folks who want to get into product management uh, focus on two most important things. First, definitely consider yourself as a product and start thinking around the same. And second is build a side project, uh, hustle around something of one of the topics that you love about or passionate about. And definitely that would build up a lot of muscles of product management. And I hope you all uh, uh, aspirants get into this soon. Cool. Uh, thank you so much, Pratik. This was really a uh, insightful uh, discussion for me. A lot of learnings for me personally. And I hope the users or the viewers who are uh, watching this video right now uh, gain a lot of things out of this. Uh, stay tuned for upcoming product manager interview experience. Till then, uh, see you again. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.